Hello, this is Vasil from Atom Tuition. In this lesson, relations and function, first let us learn about the relations. What do you mean by relation? It is something, some connections between the elements. Okay, so relation means connection, and there will be some pattern. When you look at the way it has been uh, paired up with, you will find a pattern in it, and. To have a relation, at least two identities should be there, right? Only then you can make some relation between them. Understood? Next is the Cartesian product of two sets. I have taken one example here. Set A is taken to be 1, 2 and 3 and B is 4 and 5. Then A cross B will be the Cartesian product of these two sets and A cross B would be what you do is you take each element from the first set and you pair it up with the with each element in the second set okay so you, you write it as ordered pair by ordered pair i mean we write like x comma y right this is what is ordered pair so you write it in this form so uh, x would be the elements from the first set and y would be the elements from the second set so you, let us write all possible ways like it would be 1 comma 4 right so the first one is 1 comma 4 then you can do 1 comma 5 next is 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 each element from set A I, I am pairing it up with the elements in the set B okay so 1 and 2 is done now I take 3 so 3 comma 4 is one ordered pair and another one would be 3 comma 5 so this is the Cartesian product of these two sets, okay? And you should see that each ordered pair will be written with the simple brackets and all these would be put in a, a flower bracket. That is why it is called a set, okay? Normally we write the set within the flower brackets and the simple bracket will be used to represent the ordered pairs, okay? So this is A cross B. This is as simple as that. The Cartesian product has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ordered pairs. So uh, I'll tell you how, uh, how to find out the number of ordered pairs you have in a Cartesian product. It would be like, you know, the number of elements in A cross B would be equal to the number of elements in A times the number of elements in B. So in this case, number of elements in A is 3 and the number of elements in B is 2 and that is how we got 6 ordered pairs in the A cross B, okay? And a few things I would like to mention about this Cartesian product is that, yeah, one I said now, uh, to find out the number of elements in A cross B, you just need to multiply the number of elements in each set, right? Okay, and the second one is the ordered pairs are equal. If I say two ordered pairs are equal, say for instance, if I say uh, x comma y is equal to a comma b, okay, this could be this means that it could be you can call the, that two ordered not sets, okay, ordered pairs. Two ordered pairs are equal only when your x is equal to a okay the first term the first element should be equal to the first element of the second ordered pair and y would be equal to b okay if and only if only then you can call those two ordered pairs as uh, equal ones okay and the third thing is that um, just imagine you have you're going to find uh, a cross a cross A, okay, that is, you are going to find the pro Cartesian product thrice of the same set, then the relation would be like this, R is equal to, the ordered pairs would be A, B, C, A, comma, B, comma, C, where this A, B and C, all these elements belong to set A. This would be the relation and you would call this one, this A, comma, B, comma, C as ordered triplets okay this is named as ordered triplets so these are the basic things you should know when you learn Cartesian product let us do few problems on this 
here they have said the ordered pair x over 3 plus 1 comma y minus 2 thirds is equal to 5 over 3 comma 1 over 3 right and they say they, these two ordered pairs are equal and they ask you to find out what is x and y when they say that the ordered pairs are equal your x the first terms should be uh, equated they should be equal right so you can say x over 3 plus 1 should be equal to since they are equal you can say that that is equal to 5 over 3 so just find the LCM so this would be like x plus 3 over 3 okay fraction addition I have done over 3 is equal to 5 over 3 so you you find that x plus 3 equals 5 that implies your x is 2 okay so you got your x as 2 now let us equate the y terms so it is y minus 2 thirds equal to 1 third right let's take this 2 third to the other side so you get y equals 1 third plus 2 thirds so that's nothing but 3 over 3 which is 1 equal to 1 so your x is 2 and your y is 1 in this case okay now look at the second question they have given you the set a they ask you to find a cross a cross a so here I can write a cross I have to write it as triplets uh, order triplets right so a cross a cross a the easy way of doing it is you can just write you start with the set and the ordered pair it is uh, ordered triplet okay so you, you start with minus 1 right so first let us put all as minus 1 all a b and c as minus 1 okay then let us write two values as minus 1 so you will have minus 1 minus 1 and 1 okay next would be minus 1 1 and minus 1 the next one is 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 so you have written all uh, 2 minus 1's now let us make it 1 minus 1 okay so that would be 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 okay let me write all possible minus 1 comma 1 comma 1 and then you will have 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 right and finally without any minus 1 okay so all would be 1 comma 1 comma 1 this is what you call it as a cross a cross a okay so you can see that you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 order triplets here. That's because uh, the elements you have here is 2. So 2 cross 2 cross 2 is 8. Okay. You have got it. You have got 8 order triplets. So now uh, let us look at this. They say the Cartesian product A cross A has 9 elements. So N of A cross a is given as 9 okay so what is n of n, n of a cross a it is n of a cross n of a right is equal to 9 so that implies you will have 3 elements in n of a n of a will be the number of elements in a is equal to 3 understood so we know that it has 3 elements and they have given you few here with this you can uh, and you don't have any other set right so you can conclude that set a would be equal to the three elements you can select from this itself minus one zero zero is already taken so it's one so the value would be minus one zero and one okay this would be the answer now let us see this you have a set p as a b c and you have another set q which has some few names in it right ali banu binoy chandra divya okay now you know that uh, number of elements in p cross q would be number of elements in p cross number of elements in q right so here you have three in the first set five in the second set 
so your order pair would be 15 okay uh, and what is p cross a now see you open the flap bracket then it is you're going to pair up each element with all the elements in the second set so it is a ali then again a banu you have a binoy a comma binoy a comma chandra close it and it is again a comma divya right likewise you will have for b as well as c so here i write b b comma ali and all that okay all this would be written with b and c comma ali likewise you have so totally you find that 15 this goes like this till you have c comma divya okay this is how you make the p cross q now so you can see that you have 15 ordered pairs here you have five on each row right so you have three such rows so you can see that you have 15 uh, ordered pairs now they have given you just imagine they have given you a relation like uh, relation is x comma y ordered pair x comma y where x is the first letter of the name y okay so your x should be the first letter of the name so let us now make this relation okay the relation is written here since it is a you can pair it up only with ali because the first letter of the name should match with it right so for b you have two options binoy and banu and c you have only chandra and d you don't have at all so you just leave it so this would be the relation okay so this relation can be represented in three ways this form of writing the relation is called set builders okay set builder form you can either write it in set builder form this is roster form you just list them out in the roster form and you can also use this method which is arrow diagram method okay you can show this relation in three different ways either in set builder form or the roster form or the or arrow diagram method okay in all these three you can see that the same relation is shown next here you have a set a where it has elements from 1 to 14 define a relation from a to a so it is a to a by the relation is x comma y and they say 3x minus y equals 4 okay so you have some relation between the x and y terms and you know that both x and y belongs to a right so what is the relation you have 3x minus y equals that is the condition given right minus y equals 0 so you can take it as 3x is equal to y now you have to and remember your x and y should come only from the set a okay if i take my x as 1 my y would be 3x right so my y would be 3 so let me write down the relation in uh, roster form so this would be like when x is 1 your y is 3 comma when x is 2 your y is 3 times 2 which is 6 when x is 3 your uh, y will be 3 times 3 9 when x is 4 it is 3 times 4 which is 12 right you don't you don't go for 5 because 5 times 3 is 15 so your y will be 15 it is out of this uh, set right so you can't put that so your relation is this so this is the set understood now you should know what is the domain codomain and range for that let, us, let me just move on to the previous example here see here i have written in roster form right the all the elements the first elements if they form a set then you call it domain okay so here in this example your domain would be the first elements in the ordered pair which is a comma b comma c that's all this is your domain 
now we need to write the range and codomain okay for that the domain uh, is the all the elements in uh, the first set right so you can you can take the first elements of this or if you are taking out from the arrow diagram you can take all this okay these are the domain and the codomain is the second element in the ordered pair okay so all these will be codomains so your codomain is the codomain would be the second elements of the set right so in this set your second elements are ali banu binoy chandra and divya okay so this is your codomain so the range would be the the ones which you have matched up okay not the extra ones only those who, that have been paired up with so here you have ali then it is you have paired it up with banu also right so that's banu you have a pair with binoy and chandra that's all don't add the divya because it has no pair so here coming back to this you should write the domain codomain and range right so it's so simple just now we saw how to do it domain you will take all the first elements okay and write so that's 1 2 3 4 4 now the codomains are the second elements so the codomain would be all the second elements so you can write like 1 2 3 like you write the whole set and your range would be that which you have paired up with okay these values okay where i am putting cross only these values not all the uh, codomain you write just write which you have paired up with so that's 3 6 9 and 12 okay that's your answer for this all the basic things we have learned here we learn more in our coming videos bye till then